Hello fellow Brick Fanatics, DJ Bricks here, back for another video, and today I have a review for a 2023 LEGO Marvel set based off of the Infinity Saga, particularly Infinity War. This set is the Hulkbuster, the Battle of Wakanda, is set number 76247, it's recommended for building ages 8 and up, uh, comes with 385 pieces and retails for about $50 here in the United States. But without further ado, let's start deconstructing this set and see how it stacks up, starting as always with the minifigures. Well, first off for minifigures, we have Bruce Banner updated with his outfit, the War and Infinity War. Uh, you got a nice torso print there with uh, black. You got the blue shirt down there. Uh, bed printing here uh, with the neck. Uh, you can see the flesh uh, is barely registering as flesh there. You got a nice uh, face print. Really looks like Mark Ruffalo. A nice hair uh, choice there. And flipping this around you have some nice back torso printing. Uh, just little lines of the suit there. And flipping the hair around he has an alternate face uh, which is just uh, the Hulk trying to come out. Uh, you got green eyes there and you have really nice detail of uh, different veins all around his face there. Highlighting bright green so that is really nicely done and it looks really nice next up is Okoye uh, she comes with a silver spear but the rest of this figure is pretty much uh, reused from uh, the Wakanda Forever sets uh, it is virtually unchanged here uh, you do have that nice torso print recreating the Dora Milaje outfit as well as a very nice uh, face print there uh, again re looks really nice the only really addition to this figure is she's got this uh the ninjago uh shoulder piece uh replicating uh, the shoulder bits of her armor which was missing uh, from the Wakanda Forever set so I'm glad it's included here uh, but no leg printing once again uh, really disappointed there uh, her outfit does have does warrant printing. Of course, flipping around, you can see some nice back torso printing as well as uh, the tattoos there on her, her head there. Very nicely printed, uh, but per the usual, uh, that does not wrap around her head like it should. Uh, that's just like uh, being unable to print that. And there's the back of her torso just unobscured by that armor piece. And we get two Outriders included in this set. They are virtually unchanged from uh, the endgame sets. They just got reused here, which is perfectly fine. They were accurate uh, when they first debuted in those sets to begin with, so I don't really see a need for LEGO to update the prints here, but very nice front torso printing. Uh, head printing is very nice. Uh, one does come with that extra uh, back attachment for the extra arms there and the other one just comes with a pair of the wolverine claws in a uh, gold color and then flipping these around you have some nice back torso printing and some nice back head printing uh, both those figures are the same i'm not going to remove uh the back part uh but you can see what you get there aside from the main figures the main build you get in this set is uh the mark ii of the hulkbuster that banner pilots in an infinity war and build wise uh this was very this was a very enjoyable build here uh there was a lot of interesting part usage um very fun to build uh learned a little bit new techniques here a uh, little repetitive uh just it's a mag so you're gonna have the symmetricalness of uh the arms and the legs there they're pretty much gonna be the most repetitive thing here uh, but let's get into the nitty gritty detail. First thing to note is every decoration you're going to see in this thing uh, is a sticker. So uh, there's a lot of them and they just add little bits of armor plating and detail to the overall set here. And uh, they are very warranted and they do add a nice look to the set. Starting looking at the legs here, you got nice uh, build here uh, with Again, stickers at the front. You have some nice large plane used at the side here. Uh, the knees are pre-bent, um, like typical mech fashion, but the design there is nice uh, with the uh, pistons and stuff. 
front of and on the inside of the leg there you got some arc reactors uh built right there and down at the bottom here you have very nice builds for the feet uh with little toes there and uh nice uh, part usage for the ingots, adding a little bit more color here. Moving up to the arms, you have a ni very nice shoulder pad built right here. Uh, you have the gauntlets and the bracers uh, built right there. Uh, very nice part usage here, uh, getting that nice circular shape uh, to the armor there. Note, note that there is some dark tan used in this build. Uh, that's just to give uh, more nuance to the gold pieces and break it up a little bit. But you do have the fingers there and the hands, and they do have uh, the opalescent round tile there used as the arc reactors for the palms. And looking at the back of this mech, it's surprisingly well built up and well covered. So you got some nice... Uh, of those more rounded tiles for the back arc reactors. A little stud back here for the back thruster there. Nice shaping around here. And then moving up to the main cockpit area, you have some really nice part usage with some slope pieces here. Uh, the car windscreen just to create that nice rounded angular uh, shape of the Mark II Hulkbuster here uh, with very nice details. You got some gray mixed in there as well stickers on there as well you got a nice little uh, opalescent tile there again for the arc reactor up up at the top of the shoulder pads you got uh, car uh, engine pieces uh, used uh, for the tips of that armor there and then you have a nice uh, dome piece that is printed and an exclusive print to the set uh, for the uh, helmet here and that just opens up and in there, there's not much. It's just a small little tiled area for you to place a minifigure. And Banner just goes in there pretty easily. Again, it's a tiled area, so getting them in and out is no problem. Uh, but closing this back up, we are presented with another problem. Uh, you can see Banner's hands through uh, the gap there. Uh, you can kind of switch the back clips around here get that little bit in closer but i would have appreciated uh building this up a little bit more maybe give up a heads up display or something here uh just to not make that look so uh egregious regardless of detail any mech should have great articulation so let's go over that with uh, the chest area there's nothing there's no waist articulation there's nothing i'm a little disappointed at that uh during the build process there was an axle that goes in there i thought that they would make it spin but alas no and with the shoulder joints here uh that shoulder pad actually can move out of the way and it is ratcheted so you can whatever you put it at it'll stay uh but you have to watch out it, it'll bump into that and that's no fun and it'll pop things out but you can get a full 360 out of there and that's as far as it'll go uh, with uh, the shoulder pad there again it hinges out of the way there and speaking of hinge, uh, the elbow is uh, that single uh, hinge joint that we see on the buildable action figures so you can only get uh, 90 barely a 90 degree um, elbow movement here uh, you got the wrist joint on a swivel which is ingeniously hid uh, with those uh, round technic pins uh, then each of the fingers here can be articulated uh, on their own so you can pose it up pretty nice and then getting the leg articulation you do have a ratchet joint down here at the hip so that can go back that far can't really go much farther uh, parts just run into each other there are no there is no knee articulation uh, but uh, yeah that's kind of a bummer here and then with the feet you do get a little bit of ankle rotation uh, mostly a little bit forward but a little bit back and then you get do get the toes here that are also articulated uh, 
So articulated toes are very helpful in getting this thing to balance with a walking pose, and that also helps with the uh, wide footprint. But that brings in the issue of uh, the lack of knee articulation and just the overall design of these legs here. Uh, they don't allow for that much posing and uh, that's the other thing with most of this articulation uh, doesn't really allow that much expressive posing or play uh, sure you can customize it but a uh, little bit more articulation here i feel would have made the set a little bit better uh, but yeah. then here is all the extra pieces that are included in the set uh, a few standouts the gold claw uh, the little uh, stud and uh, opalescent there you got a gray technic pin as well so instructions you do get one booklet here of course it's got the uh horribly oversaturated render on the front i'm really not liking that here it does sport the progress bar for this set the build is completed with 76 pages of building here and then you have the parts inventory, and interestingly enough, no cross-sells for any of the other Marvel sets for this year. And then you have the win thing with a massive overhaul as well. And speaking of massive overhaul, uh, we got a lot of changes to the LEGO Marvel packaging here. Uh, no longer is uh, the logos uh, with the uh, LEGO logo there. You just got Marvel, and then at the corner there you have what uh, is tied into here so you got the infinity saga there in the corner and you instead of thanos with the infinity gauntlet we get iron man uh with his uh nano gauntlet uh as the representation here you have a nice product shot of the set set specs on the bottom there you got minifigures and that little weird circle thing however Good thing to note here, uh, on the front of the box, they actually show uh, the quality issue uh, with the banner figure. So that is good in my book. That is showing truth in advertising and not uh, making this set look better than it is and uh, letting the consumer know. So that's always good in my book, but you do also have the continuation of that comic book paneling style with the Lego minifigures. Top of the box here we have a Koye spoiling the actual size reference. Lego Marvel at the side there. And then back of the box you just have a different product shot of the set as well as more of that comic book paneling and the Avengers logo. Going over my final thoughts for the set. Uh, Build wise, it was an enjoyable build, but there were notable issues. Uh, banner peeking through when you put them in the cockpit is one. Uh, articulation is another. The fact that you can't really get this thing into too many poses with the legs there is just baffling to me as to why this keeps being a problem with Lego mechs. Um, Especially when I was building this, I thought that they would, uh, particularly how those knees are attached, I thought they would do the thing that they did with uh, the Kai combo mech uh, last year for Ninjago, where you would get like pseudo articulation, but you don't even get that. Many figures, uh, for the price of this, I would expect one more figure, and um, maybe. I, I, my, in my opinion, uh, there should have been like Infinity War Thor or something, or Captain America or Black Widow, or maybe another one of the children of Thanos, just somebody uh, from this battle that would have made it feel a little bit more uh, bang for your buck with the minifigures. Uh, because the build is very worth that $50 to me even with this uh, inflated market uh, that we currently have to deal with $50. Uh, again, quality control issues uh, with the torso, but at least with uh, the box right there, 
starting to have the truth in advertising. I really appreciate that. So like it's a little less of a ding for that. And like I said, it's very worth the fifty dollars here. I really feel like uh for the that is an impressive build uh for the Hulk Buster, especially that entire chest area of the designer did a really good job capturing the curves of the Mark II Hulkbuster there. So very worth the build. Uh, again, in my opinion, needed at least one more figure just to justify uh, that $50 price point with the minifigures. Uh, so all in all, the set is going to get a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Again, highly recommend this set. Uh, it's very worth a pickup and uh, comment below let me know what you think about this set I always look forward to having a discussion with you uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ring that bell so you are actually notified when I upload new content uh, smash that like button and that does it for this video and I will see you in the next one until next time stack on